Be smart. So this is smart. Dating hood Negroes that are drug dealers and running away from the cops is smart. Only your boy Reg. Back at it again with another what? Back at it again with another who? Back at it again with another interesting video that I scrolled across the internet for. And we're going to react to it. Of course, today's wine selection is Karis. It is a Pinot Gris. I'm going to try some other ones. I'm a white wine guy but i'll try some different selections that you guys put in the comment section below and we're gonna get right into this video man it's called dating a hood negro 101 yep see what they have to say about that and the dislike and like ratio is crazy but it's uh nay tremaine and the link will be in the description to see the full video that being said let's go ahead right into it <laughs> So look, I had to come to y'all and give y'all this video because this is a highly needed video. You have to be built for this. Is it really a needed video? Is that, is, are people, are women subscribing to want to date a hood Negro? Well, maybe it is kind of like a women do, yeah. I would say that. Everybody got their own little thing that they're really into, so man, man, let me take that back. Let me take that all. Maybe it is necessary. Okay, because everybody isn't built for this. Oh, with that being That's said, today's video, y'all. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the hood nigga, okay? First and foremost, let's just say I've had my fair share. Okay, something that's thrilling and thrill seeking, and it's just like <laughs> sound of the mind. Okay, gonna get it, Bruh. and we back. I can definitely say it is. It's fun, you know. It's not boring because, to be honest, those 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 regular guys. I'm not gonna say regular guy. Maybe is that a wrong choice of words? I think that's the wrong choice of words. They're boring for real for real. It's just like there's nothing <laughs> about them. But the hood niggas you gotta worry about criminal records, who he shot, you gotta worry about what drugs he sell, when you gonna have to tuck it, and where you gonna tuck it at when the police pull you over. Like, is he coming home tonight? Man, what? What? <laughs> My dog. <laughs> That's fun? Fearing for your life? That's fun? Damn. Fellas, we gotta step it up. Matter of fact, nah, nah, no we don't, no we don't. We don't even want these type of women. The real ones that are intellectuals know what the hell they doing in life and wanna stay away from being anything hemmed up with police. Are not looking for these type of women. Yet alone, if you are, you need to just, what are you doing? <laughs> Her mindset is just like, I just want to be thrilled. At some point, when you get older, thrill, it's not even about thrill. It's about getting to the top in a in an orderly fashion. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I don't even know if that's a real real word to use, bro. You don't want, you don't want this type of woman, bro. Like, it's a lot of shit Hell. you have to worry about. They definitely want to ride you around in their car. They want to come you pick you up. They want to take back streets that they never took before just to show off the girl in the passenger side seat. You know, you pull up in the whip. You feel what I'm saying? He take you around the hood. So he just taking this way because you in the car. And he's trying to figure out who outside that can see you in the car with him. Yeah. All that, all that good shit. You feel me? All that good shit. And to be honest, some of them be busted. Lord. With this pack hair. Anyhow. And next, the money. <laughs> especially, especially if you're a drug dealer. That's up there, getting that coin. You feel me? Up here where my bunny is. The at the tippy. Okay. Nah, man. Nah, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna erase that stigma right now. Drug dealers. Depends on who you are. You ain't no Pablo. You ain't the person that's the resource. That's different. We're like, oh, I gotta, 
I gotta connect to Mexico. Just because you getting $2,500 in one week don't mean that it's equivalent of you having money, especially if it ain't being run through the IRS. <laughs> what is that exactly? Uh, yeah, the, the fact that she's using that, oh well, drug dealers make more money, uh, I mean, I guess it depends on who you talking about, but that's not necessarily true. Nah, man. No. Hey, cuz he got that coin. Ching! But then again, some of these hood niggas be broke. <laughs> Bit broke. Like, nigga, fuck you sold all your damn money. <laughs> Stand with their homeboys and shit. Like, I that's the home, that's the hood nigga that you don't want, sis. <laughs> I want the top level hood nigga. I don't want these little mediocre hood niggas still want to shoot them up, bang bang, and rob. Number three. What? What's number three? You're definitely gonna have to deal with these other other females coming, talking, just all that. You're gonna have to definitely deal with that. I still got just to this day calling my phone private, pretending to be somebody. Like, girl, get your life. The infidelities and the little side and all that other stuff. You just gonna have to train your nigga. Train his ass. The you gotta drive right with hood niggas. That's number three. What? Four, three, whatever. That's that's facts. When you got a hood nigga in the car and you driving, you gotta drive right. But you know, he could be on the run from some shit. And he may have some drugs in the car. You ain't trying to get pulled with no drugs. Be smart, bitch. Be smart. Yeah. <laughs> be smart. Be smart. So this is smart. Dating hood Negroes that are drug dealers and running away from the cops is smart. Cause you gotta be built for this. <laughs> be smart? That should be the first goddamn thing you suggested. Number one, be smart. Number two, don't date a, a mother, don't date a person that's out here with criminal records, selling drugs, shooting up people. That's the lifestyle. And you think that's smart. Fellas, we don't want this type of woman. Well, I mean, if you are in that line of work, by all means, I don't know if she's taken or not. But if you want something that's a little bit more sustainable, you don't gotta look over your, your head all, oh damn, split my wine. You don't gotta look over your head all damn day. Cause you don't know if the cops getting you, you don't know if your homeboy trying to blast you in your goddamn face. You don't know what the hell going on. You don't wanna live that lifestyle, you might wanna do it the legal way. And there's so many things that you could be doing. Matter of fact, if you could sell drugs, and brand yourself as the drug dealer, why can't you just do that in the business? <laughs> like, damn, how about you get a, a weed license, create your own dispensary, and then you could do it in the hood. Then that way, everything is legal. It's just a suggestion. But knowing her ass, she probably, she probably don't want that. She's like, uh-uh, that's too, that's too clean of a way to get money. I'm gonna need you to get it dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get it dirty, dirty. You hear me? What? Shut up. <laughs> it's just a lot dealing with a hood nigga like it's a lot and be around stuff you normally wouldn't be around for real i mean so if it's meant for you sis it's meant for you y'all don't have to deal with it you do not have to deal with it by any means hey, and if he ain't willing to change and grow up and get from out of his hood nigga ways and change into like a man that got his hood mentality then it's not gonna work after what? dealing with the one that I have right now, I mean, it's just gonna be a lot, dude. Like, it's a lot. Of oh, so she's taking fellas. Anyway, so you want a hood Negro to just somehow magically just be like, damn, I don't wanna be in the hood no more. I want an enterprise. Even though I've been doing this for the past six or seven years and I already got ties to folks that's going to continue to be in the hood. You think this just going to be some ghosts? Some power types? Try not to curse. But the fact that you're that delusional, you really think that it's going to be a happy ending story. You think everybody's just a Jay-Z. When they go out and they're 15 years old, and they say, you know what, I want to be a rapper. I don't need to be doing this to just be a freaking multi-billion dollar mogul. No. No. If you are one of these ladies, I just want to say it is not 
the way. If you want to do that, you can do whatever you mean. I can do what I want. I can do what I want. You can do it. Go ahead. Just know it ain't going to end like what she's talking about. If you don't get it, if you don't get a hood dude to like, you know, like want to like do better after selling crack to the community, then you don't need to be messing with him. How would you know that? If 90%, 95% are looking like, nah, this is the way for me, baby. What you gonna do then? Guess you didn't think that through. It's a lot of worrying. It's nights where you cry, nights you don't sleep, nights where you toss and turn, where you just don't know of what may happen, what is going to happen. Why would it's just do this? that is enough in its own. And you'll be in your fucking feelings, point blank, period, fucking with a hood nigga. No. <laughs> I'm kind of sort of slipping out of that phase of liking the hood niggas. It's a difference though. It's a difference between uh, a hood nigga that want to stay in the hood and then a hood nigga that is growing from the hood and trying to get out. Like, that's the hood nigga I want. I don't want the hood nigga that's still trying to stay in the hood. Because you still trying to stay in the hood, it sounds like you still trying to run the streets. No, there's a difference between being growing up in the hood and then being a drug dealer. You're putting two and two, like, you think this shit is all mixed up. Just because you come from the hood don't mean you gotta sell drugs. But meanwhile, you just saying all these different things about how to date a hood nigga. When technically, yeah, you can come from the hood, but you don't you don't gotta be a drug dealer. That's not the way. A hood dude could get a, a regular job, get his bag up, and then decide he don't wanna do that job no more to create his own business the legal way. What? It's till 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. No. No. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what's up. This your girl, Nate. That's what it is. That's what's up. That's that's how you date a hood, dude. Well, a hood Negro. And those are my tips and tricks. It ain't for everybody. But make sure you like. Make sure you say what you think about this video. I'm going to leave this video in the description so you can tell her ass off. Because period. <laughs> Nah, for real though, man. Let you, let me know what you think about this video in the comments below, man. With that being said, it's your boy Reg, and he's out. L listen, ladies, City Boys is winning. <laughs> I love that shit. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.